Hey there, it's me, Michelle, the CEO here at Financial Design Studio. We create financial confidence for our clients, but you might be wondering, what does that even look like? One of the things we do is resolve your questions by putting the numbers on paper. And I want to show you an example with tax planning. Here's an example of a high income earning client who's going to be retiring soon. You can see they just have one more year left before they retire. Now you can see clearly that after they retire, they've got several years here, about 10 years where they don't have any income coming in. So this means they're going to be in really low tax brackets, but you can see after those 10 years, things like social security and RMDs, which are the required amount you have to take out of those retirement accounts at certain ages, those start to happen, pushing their income up really high into all of these brackets. You can see over their lifetime that they're going to be paying just over 5.9 million in taxes. So what can we do for them? Well, let's look at a strategy that we were able to employ for them. So we assumed that we did 85,000 in Roth conversions every year when their income is low. So in these low earning years here, we're going to move 85,000 from their 401ks, their IRAs into Roth IRAs. And when you do that, you have to pay the tax in those years. So we're saying when your income's low, let's go ahead and push it up by that 85,000. So we're still staying in those low brackets, but we're paying taxes at a much lower rate. Otherwise, they would have been paying, remember, in these high brackets. So here's where you can see this big difference in these years. We're really paying taxes in these low rates instead of in these high rates. But here's really the big deal. You can see the huge difference for them over their lifetime. They're saving over a million dollars in taxes. I think I would like that, would you? So now let's just look at this one other way. All right, I want to show you kind of the year by year because this will really help you to understand the percentages and the brackets we're talking about. So you can see before we did anything, their brackets, they were in the high income bracket while they're working. And when they retired, you can see they're in low income tax brackets. And then later on, because we haven't done anything to help them, they have these higher brackets that come back again later. Now let's shift to after we've done these Roth conversions while they're working, they still have these high income bracket, but you can see that we're keeping them really keeping them in the same brackets here for, for this, this income, for these Roth conversions, we're keeping them in the same brackets. And what happens is that then they have less years of these high income tax brackets. That's really what we're accomplishing. We don't want to push you into higher brackets. We just want to fill up these buckets, these lower brackets that you have when your income is much lower right out after retirement. This may be a strategy that works for you. Now I can show you the numbers in this example, but that doesn't mean that these will work for your unique situation. If you want to see how the numbers work for you, schedule a meeting with our team. We'd love to see how we can partner with you.